Carpenter. 613 this morning and this is the additional rain that we've seen over the last 24 hours and look how many saw additional rain. The lucky spot Eastern Cameron Eastern Willis guy now we're saying lucky if you missed out on the rain remember a couple weeks ago when we all wanted the rain boy how things have changed and now the last thing we want is heavy rain but what I, the area I really want to highlight uh, this area between La Feria on up to the Santa Rosa area and on over to La Villa and stretching on up to Monte Alto Elsa not to leave you out in Sebastian and really just west of Harlingen this area where you see that shade of yellow. Uh, that's at least two inches of rain, but right in this bullseye, right along 107, 4.6 inches of rain on top of all the rain that we've seen already. So look at this rainfall total, because we can count that rain as part of Hannah. We saw some outer rain bands still yesterday when it was a tropical depression. Now it's just a remnant low, but that moisture from Hannah is still coming in today. So the total now around the La Villa, Mila Dos area, 14.1 inches of rain. That's why the flooding situation is so bad. And around the Santa Rosa area as well, and on over to Elsa, unbelievable to see that much rain and that's not the only spot that's seen 13 14 15 inches of rain look at these incredible rain amounts especially in this area by the way that biggest rainfall total if you were watching yesterday morning it went up just south of abram now the total is over 16 inches 16.3 incredible. I, it's just hard to believe that that much rain could fall and that we still have a good rain chance and those rainfall totals are going to go up. Scattered showers and storms. Yes, some like yesterday will get lucky and miss out and I sure hope that it's more than what are in, is indicated by the models right now. Right now it looks like a situation where more of us are going to see rain than miss out. The only good news I can tell you is that there's not going to be much wind again for the line crews that are out there. They want light winds. They're going to get it. It's just 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for those without power, fortunately, it's still a remarkably cool day for this time of year. Not cool, but especially because it's so humid. The feels like temperatures are still going to be in the low 90s, but that's better than usual for this time of year. Normal high is 97, so we'll take 86. And the other good news is we're not worried about tornadoes. We're not worried about damaging wind. We're not worried about hail, but there is going to be lightning around. And where those thunderstorms form, there's going to be heavy rain. And that's why the flood threat is still quite high, medium to high, as high as the threat is for lightning, because those storms will be capable of producing heavy rain and the ground is so wet it cannot hold any more water. So like we saw yesterday where the water is receding, it will go up in spots. And even if you just get a light rain, that's going to limit the amount of water that can drain out. So even light rain at this point is bad, but the concern is for that heavy rain to make the flooding situation worse in a few spots. Now, fortunately, after 10 o'clock tonight, not much going on. Only a 20% chance of showers and storms are mostly cloudy, humid night, lows around 75, still not much wind, 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow looks better. But we're still not quite in the clear yet, though the chance is just 30%. And I think finally tomorrow more are going to stay dry than sea rain. The problem is there are going to be storms around and those storms will still be capable of producing heavy rain. So yes, in a few spots, the flooding situation could get a little bit worse, a little bit warmer, but not too much. We'll take another day with highs in the 80s, 88 with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Michael.